Hi, I'm Stacy Berg from Stacy Berg Trading. Today we're going to be going over 10 tips for beginning traders. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Today I'm going to go over 10 tips for beginning traders that I think are paramount no matter what stage you're at in your trading, education, evolution, uh, whether you're a skilled, well seasoned professional trader or you're just beginning and you're just learning about the markets. I think the 10 tips that I'm going to provide for you today are used at any level of trading, and I think if you apply them to your trading, uh, on a daily basis, I think that you can only improve. And one of the things that you know about me is that I'm, I'm constantly focused on continuous improvement or Kaizen, because I believe if you're focused on improvement, you're continuously getting better and you're moving closer to your trading objectives or you're constantly improving the results that you're getting with your trading. So number one, vision. You need to be constantly reviewing and going over your vision of who it is that you want to become with your trading. Now, that may be, depending on where you're starting at right now, you may just want to learn about the markets, but I'm talking about the per type of person, the individual that you want to become with your trading. Perhaps you want to be a person of contribution, uh, of giving back, of creating, of contributing. Um, I believe that trading is a profession that if you master the skills and that if you can create a larger and larger trading account. Obviously, they're, they're virtually unlimited in terms of what you can generate in the financial markets, but it gives you the opportunity to create and contribute and give back on a very large scale. Now, for some of you, I'm gonna to propose to you, no matter where you're starting from, to think big, to think start huge. Now, that's not talking about your trading plan. I'm talking about the type of person that you want to become the type of person that you want to be in your trading, in your relationships, in your health, in your society, in your community. For me, I believe that one of my objectives with doing this, this blog and with the videos is to continuously give back. And I've had a lot of people spend a lot of time with me and been patient with my development. And I think that that's crucial that in order to continuously stay at the top of your, your game and be continuously improving, one of the things that you need to focus on is the vision of who you want to become with your trading. So that's number one. Number two, you want to build the trading strategy that's going to suit your long-term lifestyle objectives. Now, 90% of my trading is, is end of day or New York close. So I live in Western Australia and in, in our summertime, which is the North American winter, 6 a.m. is the New York closing time or the rollover time during the week for me for the currency markets and for some of the commodities and metals and indexes. So there's a window with the indexes and, and some of the commodities of where they close. There is some, some thinly trading, thin trading going on, but for the most part, my long-term objectives are to not be at all on the computer screen. Uh, I have three young children. Uh, we like to travel. Um, I like to do a lot of other things. My kids are in school, they're in sports. I'm involved in their lives quite a bit. My wife has a, has a uh, home-based business. Um, so one of the, my objectives is not to spend time in the computer. Early in my currency trading evolution, I spent a lot of time on interday trading timeframes and that was not successful for me. Um, the shortest time frame that I will trade at now is on the one hour time frame, and And for the most part, that is, uh, I, still, I still use that system, but the bulk of my trading comes on end of date because one of my long-term goals is to not be on the screen. I wanna be, have my time freed up. That's the beautiful thing about trading is that if you can get good at the type of system that you want, maybe you're gonna trade three hours a day. Maybe you're only gonna trade one hour in the morning. Uh, in our winter time, it's at 5 a.m. So that's perfect, I'm an early riser. So build your trading strategy based on the long-term lifestyle that you desire with your trading. If it doesn't coincide and, and be congruent with what you want in your life and your lifestyle, chances are you're not going to get the results that you want consistently because it's not 
fitting into the lifestyle that you want. If you're sitting there all day on the screen and you're replacing the current job that you have that maybe you're not happy with, with another job that you're struggling to even earn money on, uh, trading a five minute chart, then I suggest that you review your strategy and your time frame. Um, some people have been able to do that successfully. For me, I found that very challenging and I didn't enjoy sitting at the screen for hours on end. So, number three, something I've learned from Brent Penfold is become a great loser, become a very good loser. When I take a trade, when I enter in an order into the market, I automatically debit my account and I accept that that is the loss that has already occurred. So I need to know mentally and emotionally that when, if I am stopped out, then I'm okay with that loss and I accept it before it even happens. So you need to understand that trading is about probabilities and risk management. And if you don't understand that, you're gonna be beaten up and down emotionally because you're gonna have winners and you're gonna have losers. And there is no such thing as a holy grail trading system where there's no losers. And it's not about the losses and it's not about the wins, it's about the trading process. And when you have your losses, that's just one trade out of the way and bang, you're taking another trade. If you've managed your risk properly and you've minimized that, it's, it's just another trade. And that's the mentality and the ma mantra that you need to repeat to yourself. It's just another trade, I'm a great loser. So become a really good loser at your trading. You wanna develop a, high re a low risk, high reward strategy. Now, one of the, the main thrusts of my trading system is based on the end of day model at certain times of the month. And why that is, is that at certain times of the month, there's a lower risk, higher return on investment opportunity. My strategies are always based on trying to buy low and sell high or sell high and buy low. And I wanna try and go for maybe four to one, five to one, or even greater of reward to risk. So. Try to focus on strategies where your risk of loss is low and your uh, probability or your, your re return on investment is very high. That way when you have maybe a 50-50 trading system in terms of win losses or 70-30 or 80-20, that your wins always outweigh your losses. So focus on low risk, high reward trading strategies. Number five, be ruthless. Be ruthless with executing your stop losses. Now, one of the great advantages of trading end of day or New York close is that once I place my orders in the market, I don't check them for another 24 hours. Now, occasionally I will get on the screen. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. I do check the positions and what's happening in the market. But the great thing about it is once I've placed my stop loss into the market, I know I'm not gonna move it. I'm not gonna mess around with it. I don't even look. So I accept that that loss may have occurred. I know that the maximum amount of money that if I do have a losing trade, I already know what the damage is to my trading account. Um, in the past, I've made all the mistakes with intraday trading. I've moved my stops. I've um, added positions into a losing trade. Um, I've, I've, I've done the ultimate sin averaging losers. So what I've done is accelerated and magnified my losses. And that's the number one reason why traders lose money and blow their accounts up is because their losses start small and they take larger and larger losses and they don't use stop losses. So if you're taking a lot of small wins and huge losses, you'll never survive. Be ruthless with executing your stop losses. Keep number six, keep a detailed trading journal. Um, in one of my other videos you may have seen, it's, it's imperative to keep a daily notation of your trading results, whether it's intraday, end of day, your state of mind, what you see on the charts. I follow about 10 markets roughly, and I just make a little one line note for each market each day. I've got a little journal. When I take a trade, I write the reasons why, um, uh, the headspace that I'm in, was I, did I exercise that morning? Was I feeling good? Was I, was I frustrated? Was I angry? Um, have I, have I had some losing trades and maybe I'm trying to get even? It's important that you, you can go back and review the state of mind that you were in when you took the trades, also what you were seeing, because you'll go back later perhaps and look at the chart and go, man, I don't know what I was thinking when I took that trade. So it's imperative to keep a written detailed journal and also detailed records of your trading results. You need to be able to monitor your results. I'll quite often do blocks of 10 trades and I'll go back and I wanna see some consistency in my trading results 
and in my daily routine and preparation and approach to, to the market. So it's important to keep a detailed trading journal. Number seven, find a person who you can have as an accountability partner. And that person you can email your trades to or your e email your journal to, your 10 trades, whatever it is, or have a chat with them every couple days. They need to see your trading account. They need to know where you're at with your trading. Um, quite often in the past, my wife would say to me, how's the trading going? And I would say, yeah, really good. But I was you know, struggling to be consistent or maybe I'd taken a large loss. Um, so it's important that you've got somebody who can be outside of the circle, who can be honest with you and keep you accountable. So you may be fooling yourself and thinking that you're actually, you're doing okay, you've had a few bad trades, it wasn't your fault, it was the market, whatever the excuse may be. But when you've got somebody who comes in and they can audit you from an external source and look at it and say, yes, you're doing fantastic, your, your return on investment is good, you're profitable, your percentage of gains each month is, is fantastic, or man, you're going downhill and you're accelerating or you're, you're consistently losing money each month. It's important that you have an accountability partner. Number eight, find a very reputable and regulated broker. So do your homework, make sure that you're trading with, with a broker who is insured or um, that you, you know is not gonna have slippage, slow your trading platform down. For me, end of day, the, another advantage is that I don't really care to be honest about that because chances of slippage on end of day trading with limit orders is, is very minimal. Um, you know, I'm not worried about trying to time a one minute mark, a one minute chart or a five minute chart uh, around volatility or high impact news time. So, but if you're trading those types of systems, make sure that you're trading with a reputable broker that you can count on, that you're not going to get slippage, that you're not going to get your platform frozen, that you're going to get good fills, um, all of those things and make sure that they're insured so that if there's any, any issues in terms of uh, financial collapses or irregularities with using segregated client funds, which has happened in the past couple of years with some large brokers. Um, just try to insulate yourself as best possible from any of those situations. Number nine, constantly study and improve. The journal helps you with this. It helps you review the markets, review what you may have seen, but constantly be studying and trying to learn something new or learn to sharpen the edge that you may have. Um, I try to go through at least uh, one book uh, a month minimum, but I use audiobooks a lot. I learn a lot through uh, Audible and I can get through two, three books a month and I'm just constantly learning, watching videos, listening to stuff, reading material. I'm always looking for something not only to reinforce my mindset, but my focus um, and keep yourself in that high performance state of mind. Um, it's, it's critical that you stay in the zone of a high performance trader. Number 10 and finally, if you're not trading consistently and successfully, know when to stop. This accountability partner could be a real asset here because one of the advantages if you're a professional trader in a, in a trading house or in a bank or somewhere else is that they have an internal risk control person and they monitor all the traders. And that person will come and tap you on the shoulder and pull all your positions if you're overexposed or if you're losing trades or if you're in a massive losing position and you're not, you're not clearing it out. As a private soul trader, it can be a lonely profession and you are your greatest enemy. You can, be, you can talk yourself into any situations. You're in a huge loss. You convince yourself the market will come back and the loss may continue to grow. You can do some serious damage. It's important that you have somebody that can come in and tap you on the shoulder and pull the pin or close your positions for you. So whether that's your spouse, a friend, a partner, a girlfriend, boyfriend, a father, a parent, somebody that you know can come in, who you can trust with your details, who can review your results and be aware of your situation. And if you can't stop yourself from trading, pull the pin for you. I hope you got some great value out of today's videos. I have been flooded with emails and questions and I'm gonna try and get through those. We were away for uh, a few weeks traveling and a few other things, but I think we're back on track now. I really appreciate all the feedback if you like this video and the article, please share it on Facebook. Uh, any questions, email them to me at stacyburktrading.com. As always, I never said this was easy, but I did say it was worth it. All the best with your trading and may the markets go with you. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. 
If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.